Hey everyone, um, yeah, I know, I've done a lot of videos just recently. Um, this video is also, it should be better quality at least, it's filmed on my new iPod Touch 5th generation. Um, so, uh, I don't have a tripod for it, so I've kind of set it up against something, so once I get a tripod, you know, hopefully that'll be a little bit better for it. Um, I wanted to talk about, a lot of people know that I am bipolar and I have to take medications for my bipolar disorder. And I just wanted to let you guys know all of the medications that I am on. Now, I'm on two mainly, but I take one as needed. That is trazodone. Now, I've been sleeping very excessively lately. Besides last night, I didn't get any sleep last night whatsoever. But um, other than that, I've been doing um, okay on these medicines. I've had bouts of depression lately, but that's to be expected of a bipolar patient. It's not the medicine's fault. They can't do everything. Um, I am on Venlafaxine, which is better known as Effexor, XR, and also I take Abilify, a brand name Abilify. I'm on the maximum dose of Abilify, and that's the one I really wanted to talk about. Abilify is an atypical antipsychotic. It does not act like the typical, well, the, well, I shouldn't use that word. It does not act like the typical or the other atypical antipsychotics. It is not just a... It does not, it's not a dopamine antagonist, it's a partial agonist, so it's kind of activating with dopamine. And also, um, it, is all, it, it acts on various serotonin receptor sites, which is believed to be where it helps with depression. And it's also a good antipsychotic for bipolar, for mania, and mixed phases, so it's kind of one of those drugs that helps all of it. It's been the best medication for me personally. Um, but that's not saying much considering everything else has been a major flop for me. So, um, for me, I, I've been, this is my third time on it. The first time on it, I was, actually my fourth time on it. And I'll explain why I went off of it so many times. And the first time I was on it, I was like eight years old. They said I was bipolar and my parents didn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it either. Because it was just really just anger, a lot of anger spells. And, um, that was one thing. I thought, okay, maybe I can just grow out. And I really did grow out of the intense anger spells. I really did grow out of that. So, the uh, major thing that we are trying to um, uh, accomplish for me right now is mood stabilization and help with mania and depression. So basically that's what mood stabilization is. And I want to be more a productive member of society, which right now am I, I am not really a productive member of society, not as much as I want to be. But slowly but surely I am getting better. And um, so the reason I've been on Abilify so many times off and on, because the first time I was A and it caused a very excessive weight gain on me. Now. You'll see now, I'm, I am overweight. I'm not, I'm sorry, you know you hear my squeaky bed. But, um, I'm, you'll see. I am overweight. I am obese, okay? I'm not going to be around the bush. I'm obese. And, um, so, oh, sorry. I had a video playing in the background. Sorry. Um, and, you know, the reason, um, I, I, I went off. The second time was because uh, I just, my psychiatrist that I had at the time would not go above five milligrams. And that was a problem. So I just said, if you're not, if you can't go above what dose is going to work for me, then let's just stop it. The third time I was on it, I was put in the hospital. And um, even though I told him I felt like that was the only medication helping me, he took me off of it, put me on Saffris. And Saffris was a nightmare for me. And let's just say it caused a lot of. A lot of the, a lot of these uh, atypical antipsychotics, and especially the typical antipsychotics, they can cause um, a side effect, a pretty rare side effect called tardive dyskinesia. Tardive dyskinesia is can be permanent, and it's like movements like, like kind of like that, and your mouth moves. And now it's not as severe as that, but it also can be worse than that. Um, it's basically just uncontrollable muscle movements. And they come and go sometimes, and I, I was starting to get symptoms of that. Yeah, I know uh, the strings getting on my nerves. Um, I was getting symptoms of that, or at least uh, at least EPS or akathisia. 
at not, you know at the very least. And I just couldn't handle it, so I stopped that, and I finally said, you know what? Well, after being on Latuda, I tried Latuda, and it was very, it was too sedating for me. Even taking it at nighttime, it was too sedating. And uh, even stopping the trazodone, it was too sedating, so I had to stop it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go back on a medicine that really helped me, and my psychiatrist agreed with me. I'm on 30 milligrams now, and eventually, like all medicines, they do what's called the poop out. That will stop working over time because you have tolerance to them. So, um, that is a thing that we're trying to um, avoid ha happening while it's right now it's working. So, now for a lot of people are going to tell me, do not take medications, you don't need it, mental illness is not real. You know, this is what I say to you. Um, I know some people, they mean well, but they really are being assholes about it and they don't realize it. And that really gets on my nerves. Um, you know, yes, have I tried? I've tried eating healthy, exercise, which that's stuff you're supposed to do anyway. Um, you know, eating healthy, you're not having losing weight. You know, eating healthy, you're exercising, all that good stuff, and trying natural supplements. I've tried 5 HDP, lithium orotate, uh, I've tried valerian root, St. John's wort. You name it, I've tried it. And medications, along with therapy, I tried therapy alone, that did not work. So along with therapy and the medication, that's the best treatment for me now. Have I found the correct cocktail of medications for me? Absolutely not. It does need a major tweaking. And eventually, I may need to go off the Abilify. I've tried, you know, it would be a, you know, a freaking novel for me to go around all the medications I have tried that I've failed. Um, for depression and bipolar and things like that. So, that's it for this video. I just wanted to say, you know, if you if you do need medication, don't be ashamed of it. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't need it or whatever. Now, some people probably don't need it. Some of the medications I do feel are overprescribed. But you ought to find a psychiatrist that you can trust. And that's, that is key. A psychiatrist you can trust. Okay, this video is a little bit long, I know, three videos in one day, or three videos in two days, you're like, wow, it's just mainly because I've got this new recorder on the iPod Touch, so, and I really wanted to try it out and see how the video works out on it, and, uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, I love you, and bye.